Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly reading for Capricorn. Hope you guys are all doing good this week. Thanks for dropping in. I'm going to get right into your reading. No overall energy cards. So I'm just going to save the oracle cards for the last, for the outcome. Capricorn, what's coming in? What's going out? What's changing in the love lives of the Capricorn viewers? Clear messages and guidance for Capricorn. Does Capricorn need to know? Clarity for Capricorn regarding your love life, finances, and career. There we go. Ooh, a little bit of stress and worry. Regret. Hmm, Capricorn. Oh, there's a tower moment. Yeah, there was something ended painfully here suddenly with the tower. I see an Aries energy. Could be anybody really. Let's see what's happening. All right. Yeah, I feel as though there is someone who's looking for some kind of clarity. I feel like you got someone who's looking for clarity. This is the Knight of Swords. Someone may not be telling you the truth. Maybe they're stressed. Maybe they have some regrets for not speaking a truth. But they're looking for answers and clarity to do with this ending, with this tower. You may get a communication from this person suddenly. This could be something you're waiting for. <laughs> yeah. Capricorn, what is going on? We'll see what's happening. Yeah, this one wanted to come out first. Yeah. And we have Temperance, King of Pentacles, looks like a Virgo energy, Taurus or Capricorn, either or. Could be anyone, really somebody in that King of Pentacles energy. And then we have a Truth. Ooh, boy. You have, there is somebody here who wants to speak a truth or there's some kind of success or truth coming out. I feel like someone's trying to find out if you're single. Someone's making plans here. This is someone who sticks to themselves, probably been single for a while. I feel this is, this person's planning something and they want to have success. It's a win or lose kind of situation. I think you got someone who's going to communicate with you suddenly. Yeah, you could be waiting for this, but this is also an energy where you're just sort of waiting. You're looking out there. Uh, you're holding on to that wand. Yeah, I feel like you're giving up. I don't think you're going to sit around and wait for anybody anymore. Yeah, or someone's thinking that. There's this temperance energy, tempering passions, emotions. This is about two people being a good fit, getting along, two people that bring balance to each other. But it's also about tempering your emotions. Uh, it's patience, tempering your thoughts, your words. Someone's kind of pulled back here. See how he's looking at her? He's looking at her. Checking her out to see if she's a good fit. Okay, if she brings balance. This person's maybe not 100% sure, but I feel as though, I, you know, I'm going to tell you, I feel like you've got, you're, you're just about to give up on someone. You're tired of waiting, waiting for some kind of clarity and communication. I feel like something ended here. Someone has some kind of regrets or they're a little bit stressed. I don't feel like it's you, though. But it could be. We'll see. Tell me about this Nine of Swords. Yeah, so somebody manifesting. Someone wants to fix a situation. They Someone has some regrets. Maybe somebody manipulated you and you ended things. Might have made you a little angry, but I feel they're about to come towards you. I do. Yeah, this is somebody who held back. They didn't speak that truth. This is someone getting at a major epiphany here. They held back. They're gaining some insight, some kind of clar clarity to the situation. See a Gemini energy? See a Virgo energy? Tell me about this Knight of Swords. There we go. Yeah, somebody's looking for truth and clarity. Someone's trying to figure something out here. Two of Cups, two people on the same page coming together. Someone wasn't telling you something and something ended here and I feel they're having an epiphany about manifesting. This person may have manipulated you by not telling you the truth. 
somehow they were holding back something. Maybe they were invested in talking to other people. I don't know. Yeah, there's some kind of energy here. Yeah, this person wasn't speaking the truth. They may have been manipulating you, playing head games, and something ended. But I feel they're reflecting on that. They're looking at looking for some kind of clarity and answers to how to manifest a new beginning to fix this situation. They want to clear something up. They want to talk to you. Yeah, so I do feel you're going to get some kind of a communication, Capricorn. Take your time. Look at the details. You, know, you could be making a choice between two people, but I feel like it's just this person. Ooh, this could be an offer of a commitment of some sort. Something to do with this is a seed that's being planted, a foundation. Some of you could be thinking of putting an offer in on a new home or something as well, but I feel to do with this, uh, this choice that you're making. person here they held back something here they weren't telling you the truth now whether they were manipulating you or trying to manifest something and they use some kind of manipulation but this is somebody who's taking they're looking for clarity they're taking something they're learning from this experience this aha moment they're leaving something behind taking the things that resonate the things that work this person knows they've learned the hard way yeah, I'm not so sure you trust this person. I think this is what they're worried about. They, they're looking for some kind of answers. They want to know if you've moved on, if you're in any kind of relationship or commitment, possibly. Tell me about the three of you. You're going to get a communication from this person. Yeah, they're going to come in very quickly out of the blue. Things could move very fast. Some of you are relocating and moving letting go you're just kind of looking out there just to see some of you might be looking for a new house a home this person might even reach out to you and do that just to manipulate the situation <laughs> okay yeah it might even just be that where they but i do see somebody stressing out with a little regret or something or just worry staying up late at night manifesting they're in their head a lot whoever they are yeah, you definitely are in your power. Look at that. You have the power. You are open. Yeah, you're keeping your options open. You're open to love. I feel as though you're looking out for yourself. You value yourself. Uh, you're waiting for the one, that one special person. And I do feel you've got somebody racing in here. Tell me about this nine of wands. Yeah, so there is definitely. Yeah, you've got somebody you may have been waiting for. And but I feel as though while you're waiting, you're holding on to that, you're kind of moving away. And I feel as though you're open to something else. There's a lack of reciprocity between you and another person. It's like it's like you're just sort of giving up that this person's going to reach out to you. It's like you, you know, but you know, when you're in the Empress energy, you don't really wait, you just kind of hold on. Maybe you'll hear from this person. Um, but I do feel like you probably are giving up. You probably have other people reaching out as well. And I think that's what this person's trying to figure out. They're looking for clarity here, looking for answers, how to manifest this new beginning. Tell me about the temperance energy. Yeah, I think your patience has run out. I feel like you're not going to talk to somebody anymore. It's like you're going to stop giving. You are probably giving a lot of yourself, and you're not going to do that. You want reciprocity. I feel like you're tired of putting all the work in. You know, you're tired and getting nothing in return kind of energy. So now you're in this empress mode, okay? Uh, you're looking out for number one here. You're focused on creativity. Uh, you could be, um, some of you are moving, changing location. You're open to possibilities. I feel like you're just kind of going through uh, this energy of just letting go of something and ready to just sort of let it go and move forward. You take putting a lot of passion and energy into something, but I feel like you got this person who's coming to talk to you. They're looking for answers, clarity. Probably just want to know if you're single. Could be this person that you're not talking to, that you've given up on. Uh, you're not reciprocating. I feel like you put a lot of work into them. You were always the one that was reaching out. And uh, they never really gave anything in return. So it's what happens. And this is why a lot of people go into that empress mode, right? You know what you want. And uh, it's a good energy, but I actually feel like this person's headed your way, and I do think you're going to get a communication. I think they're going to ask you where you live, or if you've moved, or can they come and visit you at your house, or come see you, something like that, okay? Tell me about this Eight of Staves. This communication's coming in, yeah. There's definitely a communication. You're not really sure. There may be a lack of clarity. 
something that they're saying to you, and you're looking kind of into the future, not so sure you see a future with them, you're not quite sure they're right, but that's an energy of tempering your thoughts, your emotions, getting out of your head, uh, being patient, pulling back, looking at somebody here, looking at something differently. I feel like someone sees you different, okay? Or you're going to be doing things differently than before. But this is an energy where there's a lack of clarity and you're looking into the future. You're not really clear where you're going or what you're doing. So if somebody comes in and talks to you, I don't think you're going to tell them everything. <laughs> I don't think you're going to give them all that clarity, all the information, okay? Because you're not really sure like where this is going, whatever it is that they're saying, okay? That's what I feel. It's that simple. I don't think this is like a really uh, big, heavy energy. Yeah not so sure you've had a tough time in love like you've been beat up by it you put a lot of work into it you're tired of giving and now you're ready to start receiving you're not so sure if you see a future because you want someone who reciprocates there's a lack of reciprocity you're not so sure this person's right for you okay sorry to say that but i feel like as though there's you've got this person here <laughs> yeah you're letting go of something here it, you know, people don't reach out and they don't reciprocate their feelings, emotions, or every time they do, they manipulate. You know, at, at some point there, you have to value yourself. It, it, it's just an energy of, um, I feel as though you're just sort of pulling back, seeing things differently. Uh, maybe you were waiting for this person and you realize it's time to just move on. Maybe they weren't right for you. There was just something that wasn't right. And I feel that lack of clarity is uh, making you... You know, you're, you want love, you want reciprocity, you want someone who shares feelings, emotions. You're not sure where you're going, but you're going somewhere, whether it's, you know, emotionally or whether it's physically that you're actually moving on, moving out. But I see a communication. Get ready. Capricorn, tell me about that King of Pentacles. Who is this? This could be you. King of Pentacles, why is this here? Uh, you've got someone crushing on you. You have someone who's crushing here. This is someone who's very practical, grounded, slow moving. Somebody who's probably been single for a while. You may have met this person in the past. This is someone who's been single. They stick to themselves, probably been living alone for a long time. They could have children, possibly. Uh, they could be a single parent. This is someone who's looking into the future. I feel like there's someone who's starting to make plans. Win or lose, you've got somebody coming in to talk to you. I kind of feel like it's this person up here. You may have a couple people around you, but I feel like you've got someone who held back the truth. They weren't, I don't know if they were so much lying. Maybe they were manipulating a little by not telling you the truth. Maybe they're looking at that and they, they're realizing there's something they're shining a light on that they're seeing, okay, about themselves. I think this person realized having an epiphany, how can they trust you if they manipulate, right? Or they, they could have trust issues as well. Maybe they've been manipulated before. And I think maybe this person's just worried. It's going to be different for each of you, this energy. Tell me about that four of wands before I proceed. I want some more on that. What is this foundation, this relation? Getting a communication about a relationship, a commitment, a house, a home. Yeah, there you are, Capricorn. You definitely, somebody's asking you something here to do. You're getting a communication to do with a house, a home, a foundation. Now you're looking at it very practical. You're making some kind of plan. Some of you are just focused on your house, your home. Maybe that's how you're going to communicate. No, I'm just hanging at home, focusing on my money. <laughs> Maybe you're working from home. I see a, some kind of communication that you're looking at all the details, kind of taking your time how you're going to reply. And I feel it's because of this energy. Now, you're not really sure maybe how you feel about this person. If there's someone who didn't tell you the truth, you're not so sure if you still have feelings. Maybe you're not sure how to respond, how to communicate. But I do think you're going to balance out your emotions and just be patient, temper that energy it's telling you. Okay. Could be the same person. Tell me about this nine. It certainly looks like it, but yeah, you've got someone here who's kind of lonely, been living alone for a long time, sticking to themselves. Someone feels there's no hope that you'll still be single if it's someone from some time ago. 
something's lacking. This person has everything. They don't have love. I think you got someone who's going through some epiphanies here. And I wonder if this is someone who you manifested. Maybe you're manifesting this by, you know, staying in your empress energy, loving yourself first, focusing on your career and finances. You're holding back. You're not reaching out to this person. You want them to reciprocate. You want them to reach out to you. Tell me about this magician energy. Why is this here? You have all the tools you need. I feel like this person does. This person, you know, this is somebody I feel is that they have everything they need. They have everything because they're this energy, but yet they manipulate for some reason. I feel like they're, you ended things with them or there's something kind of epiphany that they're having uh, to do with this energy, this lack of clarity, lack of communicating the truth or just holding back the truth or using it to manipulate. magician what's the magician up to there we go yeah see there's an energy of putting something behind this person needs to see they this is somebody who i'm gonna tell you you've got somebody here who needs to put this behind this is somebody who's looking back at all that hard work somebody here this person didn't want to surrender uh, and i feel like there was some kind of ending here yeah, they're, they want to put whatever happened behind. They want to leave this behind. They want to move forward. They're trying to figure out how to do this. So I do feel like you have someone who might have manipulated or they just weren't honest or they were holding back, okay? It, it's Don't assume somebody manipulated if they didn't, okay? Because that card can go in so many ways. It's trust. It's about taking the things that you learn from a, sit a bad situation, uh, leaving the negative stuff behind, taking the positive energy, the things that actually work, okay? Uh, so that's what it is. She's taking three swords here. This man or woman, doesn't matter, okay? It's just that five of swords, taking, leaving two behind, taking three forward. So I feel like there's someone who wants, yeah, this is about the truth, having an epiphany. I feel like this person's at a crossroads. They want to talk to you. Yeah, there was an ending. They've gone through some kind of transformation. They're trying to gain that strength and confidence to come towards you, to manifest this new beginning. They want to make you this offer. Feel as though you're being very strong here, though. Like, you're going to be very careful. Um, I think this person actually sees you as strong and confident <laughs> and very brave. Whatever it is that you did here, I, I feel as though you just kind of carried on focusing on your house and home. Some of you are spending a lot of time at home as well. And I feel like, you know, there's something about the two of you that I find. We got the King and Queen of Pentacles here, Capricorn. So now you either know this person or it's a new crush that's coming in. You may be, you know, not gaining the clarity you need from somebody and you're now ready to offer your cup to someone else. Uh, you could be just exit stage left, no longer investing. And so that last little look into the past here where you're focused on this, you want someone who's, I feel like you want someone who, to marry, somebody to live with or somebody to build a solid foundation. But sometimes the Queen of Pentacles is someone who doesn't really want to commit, just want maybe a companion, someone to hang out with, do things with could go either way you have a lot of abundance you have everything that you need here with this empress energy it's like there you're looking out there you're waiting for the one i feel like your ships are about to come in though i actually feel like you've got this person who's just sort of i don't know if they're just waiting for the right time or they're pulling back looking at you to see if you're a good fit if you're the right person if you have several people reaching out i definitely can see that there's someone here you're not so sure if you want to uh, reach out to them you may not even reply uh, you may literally stop talking to somebody uh, but i see this opportunity here for love yeah you're walking away from someone you're ready to go towards something more emotionally fulfilling there was something in the communication that wasn't right you may have looked at it a few times it could be a text message maybe you've looked at it a couple times there's a lack of clarity and truth uh, a lack of answers so yeah you're i feel like you're walking away from somebody leaving something emotional baggage behind just things that don't serve you and moving towards more emotional fulfillment 
this king of pentacles who is this person you could be going back yeah this is someone who's ready to make you an offer it could be someone from the past but it doesn't have to it could be a new crush somebody who gives you something gives you a little gift gives you flowers you know things like that or they just do sweet things for you because they're showing you that they're they're crushing on you they're making some kind of plans this person maybe has been single a long time just kind of lonely maybe they have you know not very good at dating they feel a little lack okay like they're not good enough possibly but i feel this person has everything they need tell me about you know i'm gonna tell you if this is this person coming back around they may be coming in to tell you a truth i wonder if this person acted like they didn't have any money they're having some kind of epiphany about a manipulation I wonder if this person didn't really give you anything, spend time with you, never really ever bought you anything. Maybe you bought this person something, you were putting in all the work, doing all the giving. Maybe this person was keeping everything to themselves, not pretending they didn't have any money. I don't know, there's something going on here. Uh, but there is a truth, yeah, this is someone who, ooh, justice. Yeah, I, I think what you've got here is someone who, they weren't sure maybe you were the right fit, the right person. So someone who was kind of lonely, someone who didn't really want to get married. That's what I feel. I feel like you got somebody who kind of wants to start something. They're kind of lonely. I feel like you know them or you've met them or they're just a new crush. But this is that justice. This is about balance, fair. Someone didn't treat you right. They weren't playing fair. You know, I'm going to have to tell you, you're going to get a truth. And I don't know if you're going to go for this person or not. But let's see what happened here. Capricorn, yeah, there's something here. You're going to get some something, some kind of aha moment. I think you're in protective mode. I do think you're going to hold back. I hate to say it, but I kind of feel like this person kind of is lacking. Uh, maybe it's because you're, you know, you're in this energy of that temperance where you pull back and you see this person differently maybe you were open and available you were giving to this person they weren't giving to you uh, maybe you were very much in love with this person but you really weren't being emotionally fulfilled and i wonder if they come back around or you've gone through this where you're seeing them differently than you did before and they come towards you and you decide to hold back But win or lose, this person's coming in. They're going to speak a truth, but I don't know if you're going to go for it. They want to make peace. They may want to communicate why they were holding back something they were holding on to. But this is that energy of moving forward. And I think you're going to, I, I think you're going to move away to avoid a disaster. I hate to tell you, yeah, you don't want to make mistakes of the past. I don't think you want a repeat of this with this person. You don't want to get trapped in that energy again, I feel. That's that manipulative energy with somebody, you know, like, I don't know if they purposely told you a lie or they held back. I feel like this is somebody, you know, it's a king of pentacles. This is someone who acts like they don't have any money. Uh, they want to be single. They want to keep everything to themselves, but they don't play fair. Uh, there's something lacking about this person or they came towards you with that energy. It's just, it, maybe they felt they weren't good enough. I don't know. It could go in a bunch of different directions, but there's that work. Eh? They've been maybe working on themselves. This could be somebody you worked with in the past as well. If this person comes towards you just right and they put the effort in, maybe. But I do think you're going to protect yourself and be very careful. Uh, I don't think you want to repeat mistakes of the past, but it could be them. If they have some Libra in their chart, you know, it's possible that they don't want to, you know, make a mistake. They don't. They want to move forward calmly and peacefully. Take the things that they've learned, right? Take the things that resonated, that they've learned, that they focused on. This person screwed up, and I feel like there's a lack of trust. I'm not so sure you trust them, and I think they're very well aware. So I don't know. Be careful what you wish for kind of energy. This is someone who kind of offers one cup and nothing more. Yeah, and I don't think you're... Like, this is what you're kind of looking at. It's in your head. You keep looking at it. You keep pulling back. So I don't know if they're going to come towards you and give you what you, if you're ever going to get what you want. And that you're being advised to be a little cautious with this person. Because I feel like if they come towards you and they start putting in some effort, you're going to feel in protective mode. I don't know. I don't know, Capricorn. It'll be up to you to decide whether you want to repeat this. Yeah, it's a cycle ending and a new cycle beginning. So 
I don't know. Where's this new cycle taken, Capricorn? I think you're going to move away from this person. Um, definitely most of you. Most of you, I feel, um, probably know who this is. Somebody who's missing you, wants to make you an offer. But I do feel that there's something lacking either in the offer. This is someone who kind of just wants to keep things. They want to stay single. They act like they have no money, but they really just want to keep everything they worked for for themselves. They don't really pay play fair. I don't think that you're, you're looking at things differently. You're seeing them differently when they come back around. Maybe it's been a while since you heard from them. So I do feel like most of you are going to end this because there's just a lack of balance with this person. But you're going to move towards something more balanced. You want that emotional fulfillment. So interesting. Yeah, you're speaking your truth. You want the truth. You're speaking your truth. And I think you're going to let this person go. Uh, I'm hoping that this isn't going to be it for a while. Let's see if there's anyone else. Yeah, you're purging and releasing. Maybe you got some Aquarius energy or Libra energy in your chart. Maybe Gemini. You're purging and releasing this. You're valuing yourself. You want someone who values you. And I feel like you're going to let this person know. Um, you're reaching for the stars here. Your hopes and dreams. And I do feel like you're going to end this with this person. And I, I, I'm going to be honest. I feel like you're going to let them go. But for some of you, uh, there is a flip side to this energy. You may get what you want. It could go in your favor. Uh, it's all about emotional balance, okay? Keeping your emotions balanced. Making sure this person comes in a, towards you in a balanced manner. They come in right. There's that, right? Those two cards are connected. And then there's that reaching for the stars, valuing you. But make sure you speak your truth. Make sure this person puts the... Make sure that you get the clarity you need, okay? You're just getting a bit of a warning. Now, I don't know if this person did anything really bad i feel like they were selfish i think this person was stubborn i think they probably didn't want to share anything that they had they pretended they didn't have enough money maybe to get married or they just lacked okay um let me just see what is the six of pentacles this is in the center it's like you're not giving to this person anymore you're ready to give up you put a lot of work into it you were the one doing all the work and they weren't giving anything in return now this could be just an energy where you've had relationships like this okay and you're learning from this energy but i feel as though you're ready for that reciprocity if you don't get the clarity you need and they don't communicate right i do feel that you you know you want that emotional fulfillment i feel like it's fairly close um, I, I feel as though you're walking away from somebody here due to lack of clear communication because they're, you can see they're not communicating. They may be manipulating. Maybe they lied. I don't know. I feel like it's... Uh, yeah, this person sabotaged this. Yeah, this is someone who is manipulating. They didn't want to let go of other connections, other people. They sabotaged a connection, or maybe there's other people that sabotaged it. I don't know. But you might want to watch out for any gossip. If you're going through this right now, watch out for gossip. Be don't listen to what everyone else says. Somebody could sabotage this connection as well. So it's possible this person could come in and want to heal this situation with you. Uh, I don't know. Make sure they put the work in, okay? Make sure they come in right and put the work in. I do think they see you with this Empress energy. I think you're, you know, you're kind of waiting for the one. I feel like you're just focused on, you know, money, career, your home. Uh, you have everything that you need. You don't really need this person, but you definitely want that love. I think this person's going through something here because that you've walked away. Uh, I do feel that they miss you. They're, you know, that kind of energy. There's some melancholy. If they reach out to you, I just don't see this person coming in as the king of cups or coming in with that energy. Yeah, they have some regret and remorse, this person, from the past. They didn't offer you anything solid. They never, it probably ever gave you a gift. Maybe you gave them. You were generous and kind, of course, with that empress energy. Yeah, and they, I feel like they didn't really do anything. I think this person's, I think this person feels guilty. Why are they guilty? Let's just see. Why are they guilty? Capricorn why is this person so guilty yeah keeping everything to themselves 
you know, they were selfish. I'm going to be honest. I feel like you've got someone who didn't, they wanted to keep everything to themselves. They didn't want to give you anything. They were trying to, and I think they wanted to stay kind of single mode. They didn't really want to get married. They didn't really want to, they may have pretended they didn't have any money or whatever it is. There's just a lot of lack with this person. So just don't think they put effort into it. And I think you were the one doing all the work. And I feel like you're looking at it. You're seeing this person different. Maybe you were waiting for them for a long time, hoping that they'd come towards you. But I feel like whatever it is, something has happened. There's something that's, uh, you know, with that temperance is, I think you're just tired of waiting. I think you're just looking at this person differently now. This is definitely King of Pentacles energy. Somebody is very slow moving. So it could be quite some time since you heard from them. I do think this person wants to know if you're still single. I think they have some kind of regrets for the way they behaved. Uh, they definitely have some kind of guilt. Why are they so guilty? Why is this King of Pentacles so guilty, Capricorn? Why are they so guilty? Yeah, they blew it. Yeah, they're burdened by this. Yeah, see, it really bothers this person. I do, and I think this person feels responsible for something. I don't know what it is that happened. I feel they just feel very burdened by it. They, they're they really, really guilty because you were giving and they were not. And I feel as though you kind of just gave up on this person. They kind of beat you down. It's like maybe you reached out to them, you know, communicated, and then they breadcrumb you, things like that. So I think you're going to let go. Reach for the stars here. What is the outcome here with the star? Yeah, you're reflecting on this person and you're going off to have a new beginning. You're taking a leap of faith. You might go for it if they come back. It all depends. Be careful, Capricorn. Okay, just a little caution. Make sure you learn those lessons, okay? Take the time to get to know them if you don't know them very well. don't let, If they start repeating mistakes from the past, a little bit, that's your caution, okay? That's that nine of cups, offering one cup and not giving anything else. Don't give them all of yourself. Offer them one cup. Make them work for you. Uh, I see a new cycle. So uh, either you have somebody else, you're going to cut this person out. I do think you're speaking your truth. You're about letting them know you value yourself. I think you had this person on a bit of a pedestal when they kind of didn't deserve it, to tell you the truth. So here's that energy where you're just going off to have a new beginning. You're off on a new path here, Capricorn. Uh, but they may come towards you and they may take a leap of faith towards you as well. Yeah, you've got somebody else coming in here. You're going off on a new path here. you got someone that could be someone with a little Aries, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I see a hermit energy, somebody soul searching, looking for answers. I think it's this person on that soul journey. I do. I, I think this person feels really burdened and really guilty. Like you gave to them, they never gave you anything, and yet they had all this money. They acted like they didn't have any is what I feel, or they were just, yeah, there was a lack of balance and justice. They didn't go about things the right way. Maybe they felt you weren't the right person. I don't know, but I feel like they feel like they kind of liked you a lot to be honest i don't know why somebody would sabotage yeah they liked you a lot but they rejected you anyway i think this person's got insecurities there's other things what are they insecure about what is this person insecure i think it's about money and i don't think it's not that they don't have any maybe they felt you didn't um, maybe that you were holding on to them for money or something I think you're fine on your own, Capricorn. If you haven't been, you're certainly going to be. I see you building a financial foundation and very focused on it. Five of Pentacles. Why does this person feel inadequate? What are they lacking? Keeping secrets, hiding something. This person was keeping their feelings secret, so they do have some feelings for you. They were hiding their feelings, keeping it a secret, because they didn't want to emotionally invest Oh my gosh, so they maybe have some Pisces in their chart. This person's on that journey, I'm telling you, they've gone within. They definitely feel bad, but I don't know. Um, if this is what you've been hoping and dreaming for, just be careful, Capricorn, okay? Just be really careful, yeah, you've got this energy. This person's coming in, they're, they're ready to uh, 
come in and take that lead they're they're making some kind of a decision they now know what they want but they're still in that king of staves energy i think this person has feelings they keep to themselves and i feel they wanted to keep them there I feel this person was focused on that physical connection like that's what they're really interested in uh, this is someone who kind of likes to have things their way could be a business owner of course i see that energy I feel this person's going through something though because when the kings start to come out for somebody just uh, there's just something about this person okay i would be careful uh, regardless of how wonderful they come towards you i would just be very cautious at what they offer you if they don't offer you what you want uh, it's telling you to just end this cycle there's a lack of balance like you want someone who's more balanced you want love T you know leave the past in the past take a leap of faith forward i do see a king of cups here so you getting dates from somebody else. They could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio with Virgo or somebody who's in hermit mode. Somebody else who's looking for answers, how to come towards you. But this is the person with one foot in the door and out again. So it's kind of an energy it's telling you. Take the time to get to know somebody. Don't just leap into anything too quickly. Okay. Who is this hermit? This could be yourself as well. It's kind of on a little bit of a journey. Ooh, this is yeah you've got that hermit energy someone's soul searching here someone's definitely on that they're looking for clues and answers here someone has a little bit of fear fear of being hurt i wonder if it could be this same person i say you've got a taurus virgo capricorn this is all connected this is definitely all connected i wonder if this person feels burned i wonder if they hurt you like maybe it's yourself maybe you have a little aries in your chart you know, kind of reflecting on the past before you take a leap of faith towards a new beginning or this person this offer uh, i would be careful i can't stress it enough i you know it's up to you to decide though i mean your story uh, if this person is coming towards you just to make maybe they just want to make peace but i would be cautious of yourself as well repeating mistakes of the past okay and getting trapped up in somebody's energy somebody who really just doesn't want to uh, commit they may have a fear of commitment you know this is someone who's afraid to take that leap of faith it's like they come in they just want a little romance but they don't i mean it's not like they're ever going to go anywhere they may come back around but you can't really trust this person because i feel they they don't want to give up their other connections and other people and that's what i'm worried about they like to be single it's a playgirl playboy type a little bit of a manipulator okay or a lot it all depends i don't feel like it's huge but it's definitely there yeah, there's some kind of movement here. I think you're going to move away from this person. I do. But I do feel like you're a little bit still kind of attached. I feel like you've had a tough time. You just want love. You you know, that's that energy of really having a tough time in love. You want that emotional fulfillment. Is Cap Capricorn going to get it? Yeah, some sadness here. Moving on, feeling a little bit sad. Okay be this other person as well yeah making that choice making a decision that's that crossroads making a choice you know, to walk away or move forward taking that or take that risk with this person so you know it could be telling you to spend a little bit of time alone to sort yourself out if there is if they do come in and communicate and you don't get the clarity you need definitely i see you walking away okay I don't think it's going to be easy here, but it's all about the details of the communication. It's, you're going to look at that really carefully, and I don't think you're going to get the clarity. That's going to make you kind of emotional. So, yeah, the details is very much like that Four of Pentacles, keeping you stuck, holding on to something that doesn't serve you. Yeah, letting go of the past and going off to have a new beginning elsewhere. So, But it could be this person. Really, with this energy, it's hard to say. I feel like you got someone who's a little fickle. They're not really sure, you know, 100% sure, but they definitely are physically attracted. Uh, I do feel they have feelings. I think they want to keep them secret. They don't want to invest emotionally. Uh, this person's extremely cautious. Money is their issue. I think they probably have lots of it for some of you. They have whether they have lots or not, it's their issue. Okay, so take care. Wish you guys the best on this journey. Have no fear. Okay, just go within. Uh, I feel like it's this other person's energy. Okay, 
I think they're soul searching their feelings. They're soul searching about love. But I think they have a lot of fears. Okay. And I do think it stems from money. Uh, it could be just a fear of commitment because of that. So take care. Bye for now.